question 156 select the option which identifies A and B correctly a flow chart of connective tissue has been given on the left side loose connective tissue on the right side specialized connective tissue and under these subheadings we have to identify A and B here the examples of loose connective tissue in the body are areolar tissue and adipose tissue one of which is already given that is adipose tissue so A which is under loose connective tissue would be areolar tissue the second subheading is of specialized connective tissue the specialized connective tissues in our body are bone blood and cartilage out of which bone and cartilage are already given so B would be blood thus blank A represents areolar tissue and blank B represents blood here among the given options option number 3 would be our right choice the correct answer is 3 the remaining option that is 1 would be incorrect because muscle tissue is itself another type of tissue and does not come under connective tissue similarly neural as well is a different type of tissue altogether and is not a part of connective tissue the right answer is 3 question 157 choose the incorrect match with respect to type of epithelium with its location and function different types of epithelium are listed with their location and functions let's go over them one by one to see which one is the incorrect match option 1 ciliated epithelium located in oviducts that is fallopian tubes and the function of this epithelium is passage of ovum through fallopian tube this is a correct match option 2 this brush border epithelium lines the PCT from inside so PCT that is proximal convoluted tubule of renal tubule is the correct location and the function associated with it is indeed reabsorption of useful substances because this epithelium is brush border shows the presence of microvilli on it so this is also a correct match third squamous epithelium is seen in the wall of blood vessels yes this type of epithelium facilitates the exchange of material between the blood capillaries and tissue fluid hence this is also the correct function associated with squamous epithelium option 4 columnar epithelium surface of skin and highly resistant to mechanical abrasions the surface of our skin is susceptible to wear and tear and we need a covering which is highly resistant to these abrasion and that is provided by a compound epithelium compound epithelium comprises many layers of cells unlike columnar which is a single layer of cells so this is an incorrect match here also the epithelium that is a compound epithelium present in our skin shows the presence of keratin it means it's a keratinized epithelium and this keratin is an insoluble protein present in the dead superficial layers of this epithelium and presence of keratin makes the epithelium impervious to water and highly resistant to mechanical abrasions thus the correct answer would be option number four because this is incorrect answer is four question 158 which of the following given features are true with respect to cardiac muscle fibers fibers are branched they do not get fatigued nuclei are peripheral in position non strided cylindrical in shape select the correct option so which of these features a b c d e are true with respect to cardiac muscle fibers option a that the fibers of cardiac muscle are branched this is a correct statement the cells or the fibers of the cardiac muscles do show the presence of branching B they do not get fatigued this is also a true feature they work continuously throughout life C that the nuclei are peripheral in position this is incorrect the nuclei is placed centrally and each cell shows the presence of one nucleus so this is incorrect D that the fibers 
are non-striated. This is not true. The fibers or the cells show the presence of striations. And E, they are cylindrical in shape. This is a correct feature. So the true features are listed in A, B and E. Thus, the correct option among the following would be option number 1 with A, B and E. The correct answer is option 1. Question 159. Complete the analogy with respect to proteins and their functions. If trypsin relates to enzyme, then what relates to GLUT4? Options are fights infectious agents, hormone, enables glucose transport into cells, forms intercellular ground substance. The GLUT4 is a carrier protein and this carrier protein enables glucose transport into the cell. This is its function. So the correct statement thus GLUT4 relates to option number 3 which is enables glucose transport into cells. Let's look at the remaining options. Option number 1 fights infectious agents. This is the function of antibody. Two hormone would be incorrect since GLUT4 is a carrier protein and is not a hormone. Option number 4 forms intercellular ground substance. The substances found in intercellular ground substance are hyaluronic acid, collagen, etc. Thus the right answer is option number 3. Question 160. All of the below given structures are of amino acids except all of the amino acids can be seen as a substituted methane with a carboxylic group and an amino group attached to them. Thus an amino acid have four substituent groups that is a hydrogen, carboxyl group, amino group or hydrogen or a variable R group. In the given options, option 1, 3 and 4 are amino acids. The structures given in 1, 3 and 4 are of glycine, which is the simplest amino acid. 3 represents serine and 4 alanine. And option number 2 represents the structure of glycerol, also known as trihydroxypropane. And thus is an exception here and is our correct answer. The exception is option number 2. Mm -hmm.